Hey guys, this is the tutorial for the Browy add-on move. First I'm going to show you a quick performance and then we'll get into how this move is done. So what I have here are the four aces. We have the ace of hearts, the ace of clubs, the ace of diamonds, and the ace of spades. Now I'm going to take the four aces and set them back down. And in doing this, I have taken three of the aces and swapped them out for three other cards, in this case, the three kings. Now let's get into the mechanics for the Browy add-on move. So the Browy add-on move is used most often with a four-card packet because you'll see it used a lot in ace assembly routines that, of course, would involve the four aces. And what it's going to do is take three of the aces, and it'll swap them out for three indifferent cards, which in this case is going to be the kings. So the way this is done is you want to maintain a pinky break underneath the top three cards, which are the kings. And these are going to be the three cards that will be switched out with three of the aces. Now, as you go to square up the aces on the deck, you're going to steal away all the cards above the break. So your packet should now consist of four aces and then the three kings underneath it that you're going to be switching out. Now, you always want to make sure this packet is nice and squared up because when you get down to the final ace, there's going to be three cards underneath it and you don't want to expose to the spectator that you have more than just one ace there. So now hold the cards in a bit of grip, make sure everything's nice and squared up, and thumb off three of the aces singly and flip them over. Now when you get to the final ace, you want to make sure again everything's nice and square, that way the spectator can't see these three cards underneath it. You're going to take this final ace and just set it down on top of the packet, and then flip it over. So now if you deal down the top four cards, you'll have switched out three of the aces with three of the kings. So let's do that one more time. First thing you want to do is maintain a break underneath the top three cards, which are going to be the cards that will be switched out. And as you go to square up the four aces on the deck, you steal away all the cards that are above the break. So your packet should now have the four aces followed by the three kings. Hold everything nice and square in a bit of grip and flip over the top three cards singly. And when you get down to the final ace that has the three kings underneath it, set it down on top of the deck flip over this ace and then deal everything down and that swaps out three aces for three kings. Now this can be done with more than four cards, it's just most often done with four cards so if you want to do it with five cards, a five card packet, it'll swap out four of them. If you do a six card packet, it'll swap out five of them. So it's always going to maintain one card of the packet and then swap out the rest of them. So for example, let's do it with if you're going to swap out four cards. So if you're going to swap out four cards, you need a five card packet so let's say that you want to swap the four kings for four of these cards. We'll just use the four aces and an indifferent card. So get a break underneath the four cards. You're always going to get a break underneath you're always going to get a break underneath the cards you're going to be switching out. So if you want to switch out three cards, get a break underneath three cards. If you want to switch out four, get a break underneath four. So again, as you go to square up the packet, steal away all the cards at the break. So you'll now have your five cards followed by the four you're going to be switching. And then again, now you're going to thumb off four of them singly. So thumb off four cards singly and flip them over. And when you get down to the final card, it's going to have the four kings underneath it. Set this down, flip it over, and now if you deal out five cards, you will have switched out four of them for the four kings. So really it can be done with any number of cards you feel comfortable with, but most often it is going to be done with just a four card packet because you'll see this used a ton in ace assembly routines, but it's not too difficult of a move. It's really useful. Just remember, you're always going to get a break underneath the amount of cards that you're going to be switching out and always make sure that that packet is nice and square. That's very important that everything stays squared up uh, nice and good. So I hope all this was helpful, but if you have any questions, send me a Leave me a comment, send me a personal message, and I will see you guys next time.